In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of explain what a rolling budget is. So if you see a discussion question like this or an essay question is like this, and we don't know exactly what the rolling budget is, we could start off with just explaining what a normal budget is because obviously a rolling budget is... First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube Shopping Affiliate Program, but that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and use ourselves. Here we have a Western Digital WD Elements 20 terabyte USB 3.0 desktop external hard drive we use as part of our backup system, noting that if you lower the number of terabytes of storage, the price will lower dramatically as well. When you're thinking about a backup system, you're usually thinking about an online system or an external hard drive system like this, or ideally some combination between the two, giving you some redundancy. You can also work directly from an external hard drive like this, but there are some drawbacks to doing that. One being, if you use this as your primary drive you're working from, it's no longer a backup drive, and you're gonna need a backup system, possibly another external hard drive and or some kind of cloud backup system. And if you're working on something that takes up a lot of short-term memory, a lot of RAM as you're working on it, such as video editing, the external hard drive can slow up the system so you might want to come up with some kind of system where you download the project you're working on to your computer to your c drive or possibly to a solid state drive which is a much more expensive uh, external hard drive as you do the work once the work is done then save the project to an external hard drive such as this if you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials. A form of budget and therefore it would probably be achieving the same types of goals as a normal budget and then have some possibly some kind of twist to it. So we could basically say, you know, the objectives of the budget, what's the objective of the budget? We want to have the future oriented type of budget. The budget will help us to plan to the future. The budget will help us to communicate uh, to the organization. The budget will help us with a roadmap to the future, uh, help us to give us a plan that we can use to uh, implement and communicate for the future. So the same kind of things that you would go through in terms of a normal budget are items that you could go through in terms of a rolling budget may still apply and could pick up points with regards to an essay question. And obviously with a discussion question, if you don't know exactly where to go on the rolling budget, all, the, the fact that it is a budget has, means that it's got the characteristics of a budget and you could possibly pick up some points by uh, going through those characteristics and not concentrating so much on the rolling part, but rather on kind of the normal budget. Then you might want to compare and contrast between a normal type of budget and a rolling budget. In other words, a normal budget, we would typically think having a set time frame. The set time frame usually being a year, some type of year, and then we might break that year budget out into quarters and then possibly those quarters into months and possibly smaller chunks from there. That's gonna be our normal kind of thought process when we think of the budget, when we go through the full master budget type of process, we're typically thinking a year out. Now, if we have a rolling type of budget, that means that we're going to basically continuously update the budget for the time period that has passed. In essence, always looking out a year into the future. And I always kind of think of it like if we're if we're driving through the fog or something and we got the headlights on on the car the headlights are always so many yards or whatever out in front that we can see and as the car moves forward the headlights move forward we can always see a fixed you know amount of time or amount of space in that case into the future when we look at the budget we're trying to do the same thing so we would like if we can have a continuous budget if we have a continuous 12 months looking forward and we always basically after a time period passes typically a month 
or a quarter, we always update the budget, then we can always have this 12 month time period that we're basically looking out into the future. And there could be uh, benefits, of course, to having that continuous 12 month time period so that we're always kind of planning out and we can have a, a matching 12 month basically period. Of course, there's pros and cons to that type of budget. You could go into the kind of pros and cons of it, the standard budget. It could be cheaper because we do the, the one budget one time we, or we, and we roll it out for the year and do comparisons on that. The rolling budget, of course, means that we're going to have to update that, that budget more often and, and plan it out in that fashion as well. But it could provide more information by us having that standard time set and always be looking out, you know, that, that standard time set into the future.